hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl intentional favor if you're new here i'm an international student currently running my master's program in social work at the university of chester here in the united kingdom and on this channel i share my life experiences on issues pertaining to faith lifestyle studying abroad social work i also do a little bit of vlogging so if you'd like to join this family here you are more than welcome to do so just hit that red subscribe button below and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload a new New video and to my returning subscribers thanks so much for coming back so guys in today's video i'll be talking about some of the jobs that students can do especially international students the jobs that they can do in the uk with little or no work experience yeah little yeah <laughs> fancy my british english <laughs> let's get serious all right so yeah we're talking about the jobs that you can do even if you have no experience at all yeah all that matters is that at the end of the day you get your money yeah so you don't need you don't really need much experience some of them you don't even need at all they are going to be training you and you can fit into that role so that's what we'll be talking about basically in this video today I need to say these things first that um, before you can work in the UK, there are some things, of course, that need to be in place. Talking about NI number, national insurance number, that is one thing that you must have for you to be eligible to work in the UK. And of course, you must have your BROP with permission to work. Your BROP is like your resident permit and also your right to work in the UK. So you must have that already because any employer that you go to will require all this from you as well as other documents. And of course, you can't apply for a job without a CV. You know that, right? So you need a CV in UK standard, of course. I'm going to film a separate video, go into more details about all these things. But these are basically the things that you need. You need to have a, an NI number and of course, a bank account. Yes, because no employer here will pay you cash, you know. Most of then you will just get your money through your bank. So you need an NI number, a bank account, and of course, a CV. Also, don't forget that as an international student, you are only permitted to work 20 hours per week in the UK during term time. That is when the school or the uni is in session. So when you are in session, you can only work 20 hours per week. Then when you are on holiday, you can freestyle. I filmed a video talking about the possibility of working and paying your school fees. In case you've not seen that video, I'll leave it in the description box. Check it out. It's well detailed and, of course, very real, very realistic. I didn't paint words there. I was so practical and real with you. So... I'll be moving on in this video now to talk about some of the jobs that you can do. Probably you are preparing to study abroad and you're looking at, okay, what jobs can I do? Is it really possible? Yes, I've said it's possible depending on some factors. Now, what jobs can you do when you come here? That's what we're we'll talking about basically in this video. Um, I don't, I don't really know how to start this video, like when it comes to talking about the jobs. I don't know the ones to mention first because, you know, there are so many videos out there, of course, telling you the jobs that you can do as an international student in the UK. So many of them. And there is one thing that they don't tell you, which me being a realist and because I'm very practical on this channel, I wouldn't want to paint words and I wouldn't want to keep your hopes so high. I'll be real. And I'm going to spill that truth. I'm only concerned. I don't know if to say it at the beginning. I hope it won't discourage you. But at the end of the day, you will still hear it, whether now or later. You will still hear it. And even if you don't hear it on YouTube, when you come here, definitely, you will still experience it. So why not prepare your mind ahead of time? Why not hear the truth then? Start preparing your mind. To be honest with you, some of the jobs you will do as an international student when you come here, simply Put are some of the jobs that you wouldn't have done if you were in your home country. I mean, there are some jobs that maybe if they offered you or you wouldn't even have applied for, there are jobs that you wouldn't have imagined in your widest imagination that you will ever do in your life. Yes, yes, they don't tell you that, but that is the truth. Some of us, of course. We have dreams, we have ambition, they are not bad. But you know, one thing is that there are days of little beginning. Yes, there are days of little beginning. And you should not despise that. You shouldn't despise that. So some of the jobs you'll be coming here to do are jobs that ordinarily before now, or if you're in your home country before coming here, you wouldn't have done. You know, a friend recently told me about someone finding her a job at the supermarket, but she declined and all that. <laughs> Come on, yeah, because of course she has hope. She's a graduate, of course, and you know all those stops and she can't imagine herself working in a 
in a, in a supermarket or something. Such kinds of jobs that you think that, no, it's petty. I can't do such kind of job. I'm a master's degree holder. I'm a graduate. I'm this, I'm that. I've got so many qualifications. Those are the jobs that you will do when you come here. So having said that, let's start listing some of the jobs that you can do in the UK as an international student. So in no particular order, the first job I would say is working in restaurants. Yes, you can work in restaurants in the UK as a waiter, as a waitress, you know, what have you. You can work as uh, you can work in a restaurant, basically. So um, I'm still going to talk about how you can apply for all these jobs because, to be honest with you, that's why you need videos like this because they prepare your mind ahead of time to tell you some opportunities you have even without a UK experience. Of course, there are some jobs maybe because of your experience here you can do, but one, because you are a student, you can't do them. One, because you cannot find part-time jobs in those areas. Maybe you are so qualified, you have a lot of qualifications and all that, but because you have, you are restricted to work 20 hours per week, some of those jobs might not have that opportunity for, you know, part-time jobs or someone that will be working only 20 hours in a week, and some of them might require you to have a UK experience, which you don't already have. So so by the time you come here, just mellow down, calm down and look for all these petty jobs. Of course, they are, you know, they are stepping stones. You are just climbing a, a ladder. You are just climbing a step. So you start gradually and you progress. So you can work in restaurants like KFC, McDonald's, mention them. And all, there are loads of them in the UK. Although with COVID-19, some of them, you know, they only, you know, do deliveries, of course. But with um, the vaccine and everything, like UK now, lockdown has been eased. Non-essential shops are now open. Another job you can do in the UK, of course, is clear cleaning job yes cleaner <laughs> as i'm saying it you can now imagine you can now understand what i was saying earlier there are jobs you can never do but can i tell you one thing about uk every job in the uk has dignity yes every job has dignity so nobody will look down on you hardly will someone look down on you because you are a cleaner no even citizens do that job and that doesn't mean that you are less remember there is a minimum wage even some people that do some maybe um works that are more dignified based on your judgment is relative is relative so maybe if you think that a job is more dignified than the other some people that do that job they still end the same thing that others that do petty jobs do so just erase anything about oh this job is so petty oh this job is no this job is dirty and all that yes just raise it at the back of your mind and just prepare your mind that this is what you are doing to you know just to help yourself to get to where you want to be of course if everything is fine you wouldn't like someone like me left for me i wouldn't even want to be working and studying as an undergraduate in my country i didn't work while studying and i had a good time another common one recently especially for guys is delivery yes you can be a delivery guy you can be a delivery a delivery lady depending but most times it's guys of course so what do you need to be um a delivery guy basically you have to know how to drive not necessarily most delivery guys these days they ride bicycle so are you good at riding bicycle if you can ride bicycle then that job can be for you you can work with just eat uber eats delivery all those I don't know if I pronounce that well, but you can just deliver, just like delivering food basically to people. People have been ordering stuffs online. So that is one job you can easily get. Another job is that you can work in supermarkets. Yes, you can work in all big, big supermarkets. You can even be corner shops. You can just be like a retailer, you know, working in corner shops. So you can work in big supermarkets like Tesco, Asda, Lido, mention them, Sainsbury's. There are loads of them in the UK and they have, you know, branches everywhere. Everywhere. So you can work in supermarkets, it has a cashier. There are so many jobs that you can do in a supermarket. Okay, now another job that you can do, of course, is that you can work for your university. Yes, you can work for your university. You know, universities, I would advise that when you come to your uni, there are so many services that your universities offer. Please don't slack, all right? Universities, you can register, like my university now, you can register for emails from career and employability services that any job advertisement that is sent to the uni, they will send it to your email and you can see their requirements and check out if you can do them. And of course, every job that university advertises is part-time. So you, you can rest assured that mm, you can get it. So it's not about, oh no, I don't meet this. They are part-time jobs and they are for students. So you can work for your university in different capacities. You can work as an international student ambassador. Some universities, for some universities, it's a paid job. They pay you for being an international student ambassador. In my own school, for instance, it's not a paid job. Like I am an international student ambassador, but um, all they do is that depending on what we do at the end of the 
year, they will give us um vouchers, either an uh, Amazon voucher or Tesco voucher, you know, these supermarkets vouchers. They give it to us as a reward. But there are some that they pay you per hour hourly rate they just pay you this amount you are paid per hour that you work but know that sometimes you might not get 20 hours per week so what some people do even if they're working in that capacity or doing a job they also find another job that they can use to augment it so that at least they can work as much as possible within a week still within 20 hours limits now let's talk about the most popular <laughs> I consider it the easiest to get, the most popular. Yeah, supermarket is also easy to get, but this one is a very popular job. I'm talking about care jobs. Care jobs. Let me touch it up as the capacity is called healthcare assistance. Yes, healthcare assistance. So this is a, a, a job that you do to help people. Basically, it's a care job, of course. So you help people. It can be children. It can be youth. It can be old people. The most common one is old people. So in that capacity, you can work in old people's homes, nursing homes, take care of them. One thing that will help you in this role is that you should have it at the back of your mind that you are coming there, especially if you're working in old people's home. That was mindset i had because i've done this job i'm still going to film a separate video telling you some of the jobs i've done here in the uk so one of the mindset that can help you to fit into that job in as much as here yeah, it might not be what you want and it's not the best of jobs to be honest with you but one thing that you can a mentality you can use for that job to help you is that you are helping these people of course the old people they are in the last stage of their life yeah most of them they are 80 90 some are even 100 you miss some of them just see that you are trying to help these people have the best of their lives before they pass away all right so that's the mindset i have so i work i do the work you can do the work cheerfully because these people you are just trying to help them so that they enjoy the rest of the years they have to spend in life so guys another job that you can do with with little or no work experience in the uk is warehouse job of course i'll suggest this for guys especially because you need so much physical strength and energy to fit in for to fit into this role so you can work in warehouse you know sorting deliveries sorting goods you know all those stuff packing stuff and though yeah so i'll suggest that for guys but that's another job that you can do with little or no work experience Another one that you can also do is sorting of meals. Yeah, so you can work with Royal Meal, for instance, to help them sort meals. So many students do that job. Yeah, so many students, they find it easy. You don't need any experience. I remember most of these jobs that you don't need experience in, of course, they will train you. Yes, so when you enter, you have induction for some of them. So what the company, what the agency will do for you is to train you to fit into that role. So you can have a few days, maybe three days or one week of training maximum, and then you will know what the job is all about at this point i would like to tell you some of the ways that you can get these jobs easily it's easier said than oh these are the jobs you can do and then, then when you learn how far i've already said some of the things you need now there's something good about about the uk and one thing i would advise you if you're coming here is that google google products they will be your friend <laughs> let me not go ahead of my let me not go ahead of myself but google products will be your friend always said and everything they say is on google and to an extent that is right yes so one of the ways that you can actually get a job is just go to google and you can type let's assume for instance that you are looking you are looking at working in a care home for instance or you want to spread your tentacles which i would advise you do supermarkets are everywhere if you just wake up in the morning with your cv and you just leave your house and keep walking around the street you will see so many corner shops you will see so many supermarkets that you can walk in and drop your cv or ask them do you have um vacancy and all that and when they do they will always tell you yes we do you can drop your cv they can tell you how to apply they can tell you maybe you should go online on and all that so you can always walk into restaurants you can always walk into supermarkets corner shops and ask them if there is any vacancy yes yeah, some of them they advertise but you might not know so for the care jobs also if you're walking around you might see them but sometimes it's usually not pronounced i mean the care homes seeing them might not be so pronounced for some months, I never knew that how, in Dama Street, that one building I was seeing is, is a home. Yeah, I never knew, to be honest. I never knew it's a, it's a, it's a residential home for supported living. I never knew. So sometimes all these things are around you, but you won't know. So what you can do is just go to Google and type maybe nursing homes near me. Of course, Google, your location is on, so Google knows your location. So just that was how I got the second job I did in the UK. Yeah, just type care homes or nursing homes near me. A list of them will come out. And when you open every of them you see that their website or their phone number call them 
just call them i'm this i'm looking for you know a, a, a job opportunity do you have vacancy and all and if they do they will tell you and they can tell you to come down to the home and pick up the application form and then you go yes so you can also do that like that second job i got within in less than one week i got that job and that was how i got it so this is a tip for you so don't just wait always looking online and searching for and of course you can always search for jobs online and one app that i will recommend is indeed and indeed for instance has the opportunity that you can put your cv there so i will advise search for jobs on indeed and make the make maximum use of indeed app what you can do of course is to upload your cv there and make it visible for all to see so when your cv is there employers they always go there to look for you know eligible candidates for the jobs or the vacancies that they advertise and they will contact you i can tell you that gosh almost every week i get notification i get email that so 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 person we saw your cv on in, in, in indeed and this and this we are interested in this position they will tell you the position and then if you are interested you reply and then you can go for it so another advice i'll give about looking for jobs is that when you come in as much as there are companies especially if you are going into the um, health and social care if you are going into the care jobs one thing that you can do is to register with as many agencies as, as possible there are so many job agencies that recruit you know so they have how it works is that they have contracts with some of these care homes nursing homes or some places they have contracts with them so when they need their short of staff or they need a, a, an extra hand they will just contact them then they will send in their agency workers to go there and work for them so if you register with so many agencies please don't register with one for instance you, you register with one they might not have enough shifts for you because sometimes they will send you the availability or you send your availability they don't have any shift for you during that time remember you are working remember you go to uni and you can only work 20 hours so if you plan your week and said okay i can work only weekends so i can work on my lecture free day it's possible that a particular agency on the day you are free that you are available they don't have any shift for you then another agency can so try as much as possible to register with so many agencies so guys in my next video i'll be sharing with you guys the jobs i've done in the uk and the job i do currently in the uk yes and when i talk about that i'm going to go into more details especially about the job that i have experience in this is a general overview so i'll be telling you from experience you know practical point of view how i got my job of course i've said some of them but just telling you the jobs i do and tell you in details what it entails so like i said some of these jobs they are things in my widest imagination i never imagined myself doing the jobs i've done in this country i never did and i know that's the experience of so many people but please just calm down <laughs> don't worry i'll talk more on that video i'll be practical with you guys i'll tell you guys my feelings how i reacted how i felt and all those stuff when i started this one of course i'll tell you the pros and the cons so watch out for that video next week so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumb up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not of course i bring so many content especially if you're an aspiring international student this channel is definitely for you so hit the subscribe button and when you do don't forget to hit the notification bell and when you do that click on all when you do that you get notified each time i upload a new video so till i see you guys in my next video remain blessed stay intentional and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.